First, I really do believe there are differences across countries in the norms and standards and practices that are done. But once you become an Academy member or you engage in an Academy activity, the Code of Ethics says that you're supposed to follow uh, the Code of Ethics, both as a, a member of the Academy and in its activities or any sponsored activity by the Academy of Management. To be a community that depends on contributions of members as reviewers and as uh, uh, consumers of, of work and honest feedback as well as contributors of ideas, we need to be able to trust each other, which means that we have to have some values and some norms in common. So, so the issue really is the, the extent to which the Academy of Management is a national organization or an international organization. And if it's an international organization, to what extent it ought to reflect the different cultures that enter into it. I do think that there are some normative practices elsewhere that are not acceptable and are really code violations uh, within the context of the Academy. The, the different cultural values. I want to be sensitive to cultural values, but when it comes to this, we need a, a code, again, that we all share, understand, and abide by. And it's very important for publications in our journals and to, to understand, as well as uh, conference papers and, and in sharing ideas, et cetera, to be able to trust and, and, and care about and build relationships with people across boundaries. And these, following these codes and norms uh, help us or allow us to do that. And you really can't think of the Academy as a group of scholars who have signed on to a common set of norms and values and uh, as, as personified in the code. And therefore, even if you come from different backgrounds, once you join in the Academy, you agree to be bound by those in the same way that when a country joins the United Nations, it becomes a UN member and then abides by the code of the, of the UN.